I look at how tobacco products and electronic cigarettes are marketed across different media channels, such as at stores at the point of sale and online and social media, and really try to understand what kind of marketing strategies these companies are using, and then what influence um, exposure to these messages may have on consumer beliefs and behaviors. I like really hard questions. That's probably not a good thing for my career, but um, you know, one area that I'm really interested in is electronic cigarettes. It's proliferating rapidly. In the past several years, rates of e-cigarette use have doubled among youth. It's growing rapidly among adults. Sales have doubled every year since they were first introduced. Um, advertising expenditure has tripled in some of the research we've done. So it's completely exploding um, and going off the charts. And one of the key questions we haven't yet been able to answer really well is what are the health impacts of electronic cigarette use? And the challenge about doing that research is that the technology and the way people are using the products are growing so rapidly that it's actually ahead of the science and we're trying to rapidly catch up. So my interest is how can we actually use a lot of these different data sources that are out there to help inform our research more quickly? So for example, using social media to really understand how brands are proliferating, how people are talking about how they're using their e-cigarettes, e um, how can we glean that information from social media and then adapt that information to help inform some of the surveys and other kinds of traditional data collection we do? So we did another study where we looked at adults' reactions to e-cigarette ads. We showed an e-cigarette ad to adult current smokers and recent quitters, and we found that they reacted very favorably to the ad. And so that even, even among people who had never used e-cigarettes, they said seeing the ad made them want to try e-cigarettes in the future. I think it's important to look at social media data to understand e-cigarettes because electronic cigarettes are a relatively new product. They started off being advertised and sold online before they were actually sold in stores. And people's perceptions and beliefs about e-cigarettes are being shared on electronic cigarette forums, on social networking sites like Twitter. And so to the extent that you could use that information to really understand what's happening on the ground much more quickly than we can from traditional surveys is the real appeal to me about using this data for this particular research. it's important to kind of really understand how communication flows. It's very different than our traditional models of like TV message where it's one to many, direct, unilateral. Here it's what sometimes people call many to many. And so being able to look at the flow of information and how information spreads across different social networks is gonna be key to really understanding how messages about health products, including electronic cigarettes, get disseminated, how misperceptions get perpetuated, who is contributing to that, and then really how can we harness that? How can we harness the positive aspects of social networks to disseminate um, correct messages, to correct misperceptions, to promote um, healthy behaviors, and to actually influence people's beliefs and behaviors in a way um, that promotes public health. The way this research can help inform policymakers is that this electronic cigarette marketplace is changing so rapidly and so policymakers need faster insights. When new products are on the market, they need to be made aware of it. They need to understand how consumer use patterns are changing. So to the extent that we could use data like social media data, leverage that with survey data to kind of confirm some of the trends we're seeing in social media data, helps get that information more quickly to policymakers for consideration. <laughs>